Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less soldier options, less equipment options, less hit points which make the soldiers quite fragile and of course stronger and better advent with a better advent and a better chosen. It is time for Operation Fireface. I opted for the very difficult operation to counter the dark event and quite frankly I also wanted to fight against the Archon Prime and not so much about uh, against the Gatekeeper Prime. We're bringing our B team with us. Uh, the A team very much is uh, ready to roll. Once the spark is repaired, everybody will be absolutely ready. Those um, two are getting their bond fixed. And then that Prime team should be good to go. And in the meantime, we're going to take the B team. Sandman is a bit tired, but we will need a good scout on that very difficult um, sabotage mission or sabotage transmitter mission rather i'm thinking hmm, hey we need more firepower what's the other alternative we could go with a second ranger or we're going with another grenadier but how would that look we would need to put a couple of extra grenades onto this one no potentially another grenadier would make sense though kind of uh, another ranger sorry would make sense so kind of double tagging it let me see if that may uh, if that could work out overdrive serum i can see that nice little storm gun here and a refraction shield for reconcealments so yeah we got a lot of one shot items but i think the shotgun might be overall more helpful as the sabotage the transmitter missions typically end up being how shall i say a race against the time and you need a lot of actual damage in order to win them and I'm afraid if we're not packing enough, we might end up with having the Reaper being kind of a bit out of the picture. So two shotguns might be the answer to our problem here. Let's jump into the mission. All right, and we have landed. Let's uh, take a good look. So, sort of in a corner here. And that looks like an awfully long way Got an L-shaped tunnel. We might want to fight our way through here. I got a feeling that this is not going to be an easy mission. On target location. Hostile forces spotted. Wait, what? On our first move? Hmm, okay. Let's try to trigger them. Good copy. Moving, Moving over here. They only know that agent, which by the way is a resistant operative, trying to help us. And they did not know what they were walking into. Might as well start with overdrive, to be honest. No reason not to take it. Make it shredded. And we do have a bit of a cover problem there. I don't want to use our cover removal yet. So Toxic might as well instead move up here and try to mark this guy. We got run and gun for some more solid cover. I appreciate that. Evan officer is being marked and the cover is completely gone if I'm not uh, mistaken. 
Yep, there we go. And that's the shredding I was looking for. Sirkim immediately moves up. That is only a minor hit. Taken care of. Tepper. Moving on target location. Moves over there. We theoretically do have common protocol. I can still throw a grenade. Let's kill the mech right away. Position compromised. Good, so we could flashbang him, right? Tell me that, yeah. Blast, out. So that prevents him from throwing an incendiary grenade. Sure thing. And this kills the mech. Not the cleanest start, but I would say okay. He has resilience, makes him almost immune to crits, watchful, automatic uh, overwatch, return fire, and can summon bestial allies, plus regenerates. That guy is the full package. And five armor. We gotta catch him in a in a weak moment we'll else I was going to else it's going to take a long time to get him down Roger that. Zirkim pushes in 100% maybe critting it's not critting today Moving up. Taking the superior repeater, which is a banned item, so not going to be much of a help here. What's over there? Moving into cover. And that should be a kill. Moving up or getting that extra turn. Well done. Back to six, that's good. Separation has been temporarily delayed. Might be a couple more of those transmitters around. Just haven't found them yet. Moving on target. Headed there now. Good. As for the rest, Confirmed. I think we're going to go into an overwatch. Got it covered. The Warlock Very often right. loves to Moving summon to his uh, spectral zombies. Last time they were still uh, doable with two zombies. I assume he has three by now. Oh, look at that. Who would have guessed set spectral zombies? Okay, fantastic. One down. It's down. That's two down. Are we 
We're getting three for three. No, barely did not kill it. And of course, the infamous spectral rupture. What? 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 Oh, it's a fourth zombie. Well, so much for the training of the warlock. Slowly moving up. Running dry. But we're continuing to move up because we have very limited time to deal with all of this bullshit here. to go from here we would be flanking that's actually not the worst play ever Zirkim reconceals because he's going to be the one who's scouting for us. Position confirmed. Moving. Iron Lady moves over. Good, two overwatches. I don't think anyone will just run into us. Said that guy is going to sabotage our weapons. Really just trying to slow us down, which on this uh, network mission is a problem. Scanning protocol. Let's see what we're dealing with. Alright, that's the Archon Prime plus three. Nothing in here. Nothing in there either. Moving to designated position. Good, we can move up. Opening the door without triggering. No. question is, of course, is this your triggering? Potentially not. Careful here, Saiken. I think we are good even if we're just slowly but surely moving along. And reload Overwatch. Overwatch. See Kim is reloading. I think he had it. No loader, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, uh, unnecessary reload. Is the guy moving into us? I guess 
Good, we are mo again moving up. Okay, so close, but yet so far. It's going to trigger. And I trigger it because we need to trigger. We do not have unlimited time here. Okay, but makes it easier for us to decide what we are doing. We need to move up. Terminated. And then position confirmed. Fantastic. A sector it's soldier eight to ten. I think we're just going to dead eye and kill him. What'd you expect? Okay, two sectors down. Time for an overdrive serum. Toxic could take an overwatch shot. So not the worst option to run and gun. This might trigger overwatch. It does not. We could, yeah, we could hit both. We could even hit them with the incendiary bomb. Heading out. Opening up. Potentially need to clean up the field. That's our biggest challenge here. Moving, to designated position. Moving into full cover. Orders confirmed on the move. But I think what we really need to do is we really need to remove cover. both with an incendiary bomb that would deal a lot of damage shred and we just need to hit one more shot it would take care of the sector it's soldier almost almost a hundred percent and highly cripple that advent yeah let's take the bomb also i want to low-key keep uh, the cover removal for the chosen right the sector is dead gotta deal with the lancer pass conceal so that we can get that bonus to hit 77 percent is good enough come on there we go, that's the dead Lancer I was looking for. Fantastic. We 
we going to shut down or are we going to kill him, uh, take him over? He is having, he is having technical protocol. Let's try to get him. Let's try to get him and that might trigger another pack. We have cleaned the battlefield. Moving all the way over here. Next turn we're going to hopefully do something more meaningful. There we go. I was just talking about pulling another pack, right? And did we just pull him on top of all of that? Well, at least no, no further zombies appear. The Chosen is in position. Good, removing the cover over here. And we're dealing with that stupid prime first. Cover, Moving to designated coordinates. leaving our expendable soldier right there, essentially being expendable. Lockdown moves over here. Everybody's essentially taking cover from them. trying to disengage from the chosen so one one movement to here one movement to here smoke bomb want to make everyone a really bad target What's over there? getting fully out of line of sight and now let's mark this guy
but we're shredding it potentially going to lose our soldier as a result of that our XCOM operative here yeah that was the sacrifice I was willing to make Can't kill it in one go. So I'll try to dish out as much damage as possible. Do we have another? Hmm. I'm just trying to get as far away as possible from here. I don't want to get an acid bomb. I can already foresee how this is going to play out. Let's hit the guy. He's almost down. One more reaction. Affirmative, moving out. Position compromised. Five to seven. Okay, that should be a kill. not if we're missing and that guy is too dangerous to let him live so now we're again standing together which I didn't want from the get-go all right fantastic Can we hit anyone over there? We cannot. This might trigger an overwatch. I would have even been okay with uh, getting killed. Good. So I think we're on the absolute maximum distance for hitting this guy. Killing time. Can't mark him. But we can start shredding it. Reload to be action efficient. And let's shred it. Can't really reach it with anything else. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Our lady moves up. Hostile neutralized. For every fallen child of the elders, humanity will repay a tally in flesh. 
Two, four, six. He still has plenty of hit points. Paper could take another shot. Moving to designated coordinates. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's that would kill. Does not show the duration. I think it is one more turn afterwards, but I don't want to risk it, so we're just going to eliminate the mech. Interesting that I can't even destroy the uh, mm, target here. Moving to designated coordinates. They're moving far enough away from one another. Not risk uh, being acid bombed. And we're taking another Overwatch. Mind control? Yeah. So the guy is mind controlled. Be careful, we do have one overwatch, and I want to make sure that we're not triggering. Problem is, the guy who does who, who does not trigger or who has lightning reflexes just can't get through, right? This my trigger. Yeah, and that's lightning reflexes. There you go. Okay. Good, we're moving back. We are within the fog here and could hunker down. Just need to get ba uh, get away from that mind control operative. That's affirmative. Good, we're going to hunker down. Super hard to hit. The Kundos is one of the prime targets for it to, to kill it, and I really don't want that to happen. So we're going completely out of line of sight. Same thing here with lockdown. On the move. Good. 
closing the doors. And we should be mostly out of line of sight now. Uh, spectral army, how I hate it. How many hit points do, do these guys have? Wait, what? How many hit points? Like I can deal a, uh, at maximum 10, so that means they have 14 hit points. Did anyone ever playtest that? Who thought that 14, like 4 0 hit points are okay? Seriously. A fully maximized plasma doesn't even deal that much. Okay, do we have any form of explosive? Yes, we do. Okay. Well, hate to do that. This hopefully is going to trigger the overwatch shot yet again. Into lightning reflexes. Toxic is definitely pulling his weight. I do have run and gun if uh, need be. Pepper moves. Where would we want to move? We're slightly injured, so the back line would be the right place here. I think this one is not too bad. So a toxic could theoretically move all the way up to there. And then just start hitting all four of them. The problem that I'm seeing is 14 hit points times 4. Let's just think that through from a playtesting perspective just for a uh, just for a moment so your shotgun deals normally an absolute uh, maximum amount of 10 or 11 points of damage so how would you think that that sort of setup makes sense i mean seriously like If you end up with that many hit points, how, how would that make sense? And I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but think about it. The game can't expect that you get uh, weapon breakthroughs like we had, and on top of it, kind of uh, the uh, weapon category breakthrough. I mean, you could, we could do that, but it would have taken all of our explosives just to get rid of them. Not sure, oops, if that's the best course of action here. Moving over onto the other side, keeps us almost flankable. Almost. It's a hundred percent kill at least. Can't 
really do much against that. Okay, we could overwatch. That's potentially it. I'm a ghost. Retraction field. Heading out. Into a flanking position. Doing ninety percent shot. <laughs> Come on, focus well, thank you for that little aim bonus that really didn't work out at the end. Target neutralized. Toss me some ammo. Rolling. Implacable to not get hit with a melee attack. I mean, yeah. This is a real problem. As we are not able to kill both of them. One of them likely is going to survive. Both of them are actually are surviving. Well, on the upside, the warlock cannot act. On the downside, one of them will right. reach us. We will claim this world in the name of the elder. Another overwatch, okay. Shit. Their blood is spilled in vain to the honor of no one. As a true master of the elder's power, the lightest touch will be all. Good. So this should not trigger. You're gonna be fine. Hate to do it because we're now out of position with the sniper. Your efforts at rectifying mistakes will garner no praise from me, Commander. Maybe I could have maybe set up an Overwatch trap there. Good, so what's the plan? What is the plan? I think we gotta deal with the Andromedon first. That removes the Overwatch. Reloading. Now we're, we need to get rid of its massive cover. Trying to shred it. That worked like a charm. Trying to get that other flank. Our lady could move up. But we do have a combat protocol, so that would work. Problem is, the shell is able to reach us. Mm -mm, that's not good. Forty-four percent, but if I could move up, see that's that's the issue with having not enough hit points. Two, four, six, eight. Nope, she would die. On the other hand, if that thing takes a shot, our mech might uh, might die. 
Gotta risk it. At least the flank worked out nicely. Now what we can do is we could... Ooh, we could take it over. Or just shut it down. Okay, when so much is on the line, I'm just shutting it down. Okay, crowd control worked like a charm. We're staying barely out of reach. Uh, the problem here is can't for uh, maybe we could move over to here. Moving to position. I don't want to be mind controlled with Zirkim. Huh. Things are just getting better. I have so let me get that straight he summons holy shit so he summons he then just completely teleports this guy over then he mind control um yeah then he mind controls and then on top of it just kind of has a nice little insult to injury he feels like uh, mind controlling. Okay, what the actual fuck? All right, overdriving. Got to deal with the chrysalids. Uh, they are the highest priority. So this will give us a view onto two targets. One actually. Apparently the preview is completely broken. Let's kill the chrysalid. Okay, not a bad trade overall. Cooldown for an entire kill. spot to be in can't trigger the overwatch with iron lady this here should technically not trigger overwatch but who knows Come on, let's hit him. Fantastic. That removed Overwatch at least. There will be no mercy for you. Okay. 
Full cover. Still got that stupid suit over there. He can easily move in and flank us, which potentially would be level here. Okay. Needing to move over. Okay, and we could technically... Kill. So, hmm. What are we going to do here? I mean, we can go around the corner. Take a shot. What's our chances to hit this guy? Yeah, it has defense. Hmm. High ground would be the way to go. Three armor. And we're looking at what? That's six points of damage. So he would still have more hit points left over than a combat protocol could kill. here certainly has more movement than we do position ourselves over here gonna jump over likely can we hit it from here potentially is it a one move for that guy likely however if we move over here it's out of range as far as I'm concerned hate to play that defensively but I really don't know how to deal with all of those hit points Hard target, minimal damage. it feels like with a constant mind controlling two four six that's just going to kill it constant mind controlling it's just falling apart We got him placeable. Move to here. Let's just move to here. Continuing to move uh, in. I'm almost inclined to just let him capture one. Lightning reflexes save the day once again. Still mind control shit. But we need to reload. Do we have an auto loader? Yep, we still had one. Slowly but surely going in. Uh, getting getting that flank that I wanted to kill uh, to hit the warlock this guy is the biggest problem
can't get there without compromising ourselves. And we're low on hit points with uh, Secundos here as well. Commodore Shell takes some good damage. It's not really going down though. Good, we're moving and I'm just trying to stay alive here. A protocol onto Secundus. On my way. Lockdown moves up, closes the door. Problem is uh, that shell might uh, reach us, so we're trying to hide in the corner. Overwatch. Is he going to extract in info? Better. It's almost better that way. What a hardcore fight. Unfortunately, the chosen got what they were after. More information they can use to track you down, Commander. Redford. Again, you make it sound as if we had much of a choice. I was literally on the last magazine. Everybody was highly injured. Picking up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. We'll do. Objective position confirmed. Yeah, not sure if I could have played that differently or better. Leave a comment in. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm all over it. I mean, everybody took quite a bit of damage and at the end I mean we were successful with the mission but holy shit that was a slugfest so many uh, times it was down to the wire where Signal I needed to play it safe or use some of our uh, consumables just to stay kind of in the fight <coughs> Excuse me. And whenever that happens, typically, it is a problem because um, that means you're on the back foot. XCOM really rewards playing aggressively and as long as you can just continue to um, apply aggression, that is fantastic. The moment that you're on your back foot, not that good, buddy. And the pure volume of hit points that he can pump out is mind-boggling. Think about it. Every single time he summoned zombies, that was like 40 hit points right there. Plus, um, forcing us to move due to spectral rupture. Then, he summoned his um, his army, which was like what? Um, 4 times 14. So, that is a whooping 56 hit points of stun lancers. And you really don't want to mess with those guys. And then he casually uses a single turn, uh, double chrysalid, like what, 
35 hit points, mind control plus uh, mm, uh, plus teleport of an ally. That was rough. Good, we're taking Serial here. It's the worst ability compared to Fanfar. But still, I mean, that one could help us. Overall, we got, uh, get a couple of corpses and a repeater that we are not allowed to use. Gone to ground. Uh, not sure what that uh, one was. Let me look it up real quick. Oh yeah, how could I forgot, uh, forget about that? Gone to ground is closing of the black market. Permanent closing. Fantastic. No, 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 no. We're not going to uh, to use that. So it was the right uh, decision. If our outing today is any indication, your time on this well, let's make contact here. Commander, we've utilized all of our available and that should give us uh, the entirety of the world. Until we upgrade our I think, if I'm not mistaken, as so well, the... What? The last alien ruler must be somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. So I would like to do that as well because the Archon suit, the Icarus suit, is valuable, quite valuable. Cool. Bond available means those two finally get a plus one to their bond. And now it's just a matter of can we somehow get to either the hunter or the uh, the warlock I think the hunter had um, a higher info level so we're going to do him first major plus that means we're putting uh, we're putting one of our really renowned soldiers on the line Pepper it is in this case. Mobility plus one. Let's use Russ. And yeah, we're having a potential soldier capture here. Which means we might lose a major, but I want to get into the stronghold. So I'll order my people to get underway immediately. We're going to go there. Training center. Upgrading the bond. So those two are training and we should be ready um, once the chosen uh, once we have the chosen stronghold available. Boy oh boy. The whole roster looks incredibly battered. I am surprised that we haven't lost more soldiers yet. Good. Hellweave West. Not bad. We got enough intel, so might as well take the gatekeeper. It could trigger another uh, breakthrough. And once we're done with that, we can start with the Shadow Chamber. I will probably research for uh, for more intel once. And then Shadow Chamber. Many have suffered for your crime. And we gotta work and with him soon as well. Will you not surrender yourself to the elders Fantastic. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians. Good, she's defeated. Nice, no good. He got a lot of knowledge out of that event. And we got to deal with uh, the Hunter next. Collateral damage is back. Loyalty amongst uh, thieves is back. This here would be nasty. But the hidden event might be just as nasty. I think we're going to go with Vengeance. It's not my favorite one, but it it just so seems that we're going to lose a soldier sooner or later. 
I'm playing completely on the edge and we're often leaving like with three to four hit points. That's great. I like it. I absolutely love it. But Nasir seems prudent to prepare for for the eventual uh, for all eventualities. Good, we got 955 supplies and we were quite clear the last time defense matrix has to be built good in terms of proving ground if i'm not mistaken we did we find a core no we did not for some reason i thought we found one hmm And Guerrilla Tactics School, I think we did not have... Did we have the new recruits are being sergeants? Let's see. Command, resistance orders. Um, no, no. No, but maybe it was a continent bonus. Gosh, I haven't played for a while. Sorry for that, guys. Live fire training. Oh, yeah, here we go. I figured. That's what we wanted to do. Great. We're still lacking Elarium and Alloys. Let's just double check the black market Avenger real quick. Because I would absolutely love to get the snipers upgraded. It is so bad to have low damage on them well not exactly low damage but comparably low damage yes please yes please can't get a new soldier which i would take any moment um superior outloader isn't bad But no, none of that. Good. I think, though, we have enough to start at least upgrading the weapons. Oh, no. Five Valerium are missing. Hmm. That stinks. Rage armor can still be built. I like the Hellweave West, we're getting one. We could get the Fusion Axe, 20 Alloys, and 20 Alloys, no, we can't get all of that. And we could get Fusion Ripjack, so, I mean, we could get the Fusion Blades. And the Fusion Ripjack at the same time. Or we'll get the Fusion X and the Fusion Rip check. We're using the X more often, so might as well use that. And the Rip check. Okay, we've at least used it. And if you uh, wonder why have I brought myself down to zero again, the longer you stay at zero, uh, the more uh, chances for spawns on the on the world map will happen. One proximity mine, please. We're getting another overdrive serum. It's worked quite well. I'm being careful with the refraction field. That item, very niche. And as long as our Reaper uh, doesn't have anything, I'll just leave it as is. We can get one battle scanner just for good measures. Okay. Cool. So Black Market was an absolute success. Setting course for the Australian sector. And we got some more items that will help us in the in the actual missions. Luckily, we had a breakthrough that uh, makes all of the uh, which makes all of the vests better. So the vests are 
really good and this here is fantastic resistance contacts on top of it we got a spectre prime and it seems as if there is not even a chosen here so that could be rate the advent troop transport that could be just uh, the resource the alarium and the alloys that we have been looking for good so anything that i've forgotten i mean i'm not using any of the tactics yet that'll happen later in terms of repairing commander? we're still repairing uh, primos yep so that's good we will need him for the uh, for the next mission against the chosen so that looks almost like he will be fully repaired many of the others have recovered that's great only one uh, still in disrepair is of course secundos here but luckily their chassis gives them five extra hit points and they have quite a bit of armor in terms of uh, those uh, vests just to showcase it if we're using meltdown here as an example this hell uh, hell we west isn't too bad um i mean d despite the fact that it is now a hundred and one percent chance to to burn um chance to set a flame with attendant disabling effects yep small health bonus plus three so that's not too bad i mean if you think about it um three hit points right away and nice little add-on might be helpful for us just to um, just to survive it seems we're taking just an incredible amount of damage um, in all of those missions mainly due to the lack of crowd control so this is sort of our uh, hit point buffer but yeah that's really it anyways um, it's been a long episode and uh, pretty tiresome as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and a like down below, and let me know what you think, what you thought about that massive combat. Thanks and take care. Bye bye.